Alright, welcome to uh, this next video guys. Today we're going to be talking about the idea of profit and loss. Now our learning goal is that students are able to solve problems involving profit or loss and at the end of this you will be able to calculate the percentage profit or loss and calculate the percentage change. Okay? Alright, show me the money. Now in business and things, what we're uh, someone who owns a business is looking to do is they're looking to buy a product at some amount, so uh, some X amount of dollars, and they're wanting to. So this is the retailer, and they're wanting to sell it to you, the customer, for X plus Y dollars. So this little extra part here is called our profit and it can also be sometimes or a loss depending upon what it is uh, with how much it's on special sometimes a business might make things super on special to make sure they sort of get rid of them uh, but most of the time they are looking to try and sell with some kind of profit so they end up with more money in the end than what they started with okay so the first things we need to do is that we're going to Have a look at some of the key ideas here. Okay, so first thing, a couple of little def definitions. So the cost price of an ob item is the total cost of making or buying the goods. So it may cost uh, $50 to uh, build a chair. So that might be um, the wood plus the time taken for uh, an employee to build that chair. Now the selling price is the cost price plus something that's called the markup which as we can see here is the amount that was added on to the cost price in order to make a profit so as we said before that that y amount of dollars that we that was that i talked about earlier that's added on to make sure that whoever's trying to sell something actually ends up making some money making some profit okay discount is a decrease in the selling price to attract more buyers for something so you might typically see that as a store is having a sale if that's the case of selling things at some kind of discount. Uh, the sale price is the selling price, obviously, minus the discount is applied. Uh, GST is something that's sort of uh, pretty technical, but the, all you need to worry about at the moment is that it's a goods and services tax of 10% added to the selling price. Okay, And that's not applied to everything, uh, but to a lot of, lots of things and profit or loss is the difference between the cost price and the selling price okay so to calculate the amount of profit or loss so profit or loss is equal to the selling price minus the cost price okay now this is the case I mean it's up to you whether you want to if you know it's going to be profit or loss you can sort of just calculate it and get the value whereas if you do it this way it, it helps you out because if you get a positive result, for example, if I if I bought uh, 100 pink teddy bears and for $500 and I sold them all for 700, obviously my sell if I had uh, selling of 700 minus 500, that's $200 profit. Okay, but if I had uh, 1 million carrots that I bought for $10,000 and I sold them. For eight thousand dollars, I would have a selling price of eight thousand minus ten thousand, giving me a loss of two thousand dollars on my one million carats. And so uh, that's sort of a way to do it, where whatever the result's going to be, positive or negative, tells you if it's going to be profit or loss. Okay, to calculate these percentage changes, okay. So the percentage change from an original to a new value is equal to the amount of change. Okay, so the amount of change divided by that original value times 100%. Okay, remember with this times 100% because the percent sort of divide by 100, that's why it's okay to sort of chuck it on the end. Um, percentage profit is equal to the amount of profit divided by the original value times 100%. Percentage loss is the loss over the original value times 100%. So as you can see, all these are sort of uh, just very, these are all just variations 
of the same uh, formula and idea. Okay, a couple of worked examples. So, uh, Laura's wedding dress cost $1,450. After her wedding, she sold it on for $900. Calculate the loss La Laura made on the dress and then express the loss as a percentage of the cost price rounded to the nearest percent. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the little formula. So, we've got um, the profit or loss is equal to the selling price minus the cost price. And so that was $900 minus $1,450, which is equal to $550. Okay, and therefore, our percentage profit whoops, not profit, loss. So that's part one done. Part two, our percentage loss will be equal to, now, when we start to use these formulas, so like a particular thing written out to figure something out, you need you, you want to write the formula out first, okay? So percentage loss is, will be equal to the loss over the original amount multiplied by 100%, okay? So our loss was 550 over an original amount of 1450 multiplied by 100%. Let's just uh, give ourselves a little bit more room here. And so this is equal to about, so, so I hope most of these you won't need to calculate for this one I did. Oh, that was supposed to be 550. So 550 over 1450 is about 0.38 times 100% which is about equal to 38%, okay? It's rounded off to the nearest percent for us. Okay, next one, AJ buying himself a tent for $125, resells it for 139. How much profit did AJ make on the tent? Secondly, express his profit as a percentage of the selling price, rounded to the nearest percent. So, a uh, similar type of thing. Again, we're gonna write our formulas. So, the profit or loss is equal to Selling minus cost. He sold it for 139 minus the cost of 125, which is equal to uh, 14 dollars. Okay, and we're going to write our formula again for therefore our percentage profit is equal to the profit minus the original multiplied by 100% and the profit was 14, the original is 139 times 100%. I'm sure you can see that 14 over 39 is basically 10%, so 0 0.10 times 10 times 100%, which is about equal to 10%, okay? now. Uh, with these sort of things where you're going to start having to remember uh, formulae, I highly suggest it's the sort of stuff where the more you do, the more it sort of just gets ingrained into your mind and um, rather than remembering the formula, so to speak, get a feel for sort of how it works and that'll be a lot easier for you, okay? Please, if there's anything that didn't make any sense or you want to ask any questions about the video, make sure you see me straight away at school. Thank you so much for watching.